This is the top 10 best model loadouts in Warzone 3. And at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be live on Kick to add everybody's name to this wheel. And I'm going to give some of you guys some COD points. So make you guys way over there. HRM 9. This is going to be the first class I'm going to give you guys two alternatives with. First one is going to be silence, and the second one's going to be unsilenced. I think you guys are going to like the silence more, honestly. The HRM, we start out with the Sonic Suppressor S for being undetectable by the radar, bullet velocity, and damage range. You do lose some aim walking stand, sprint to fire speed, and recoil control, but this is the best possible choice. Trust me, this setup is going to be amazing. Next, put on the DR6 hand stop for aim walking speed, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed at the cost of hip fire attack, stand spread, and aim walking steadiness. Put on the 50 round jump because this is the best possible choice. I can't think of a better one for you guys to possibly use, considering the alternative is 20 or or 30 as the base. Put on the PCS 90 assault grip for gun kick control two times and recoil control at the cost of aiming out of sway and aim down sight speed, which is not a big deal. We already took care of that. Last but not least, we put on the folding stock for recoil control, gun kick control, and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed. And this thing is an absolute tank at close and medium range. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, you guys can actually use this at long range too, but it's a little riskier just because there's a little bit of an interesting recoil pattern. I would just stick to the short to medium range. But here is the entire class setup for HRM 9. Make sure you guys guys take a picture a screenshot whatever you guys have to do now the people that actually like the og hrm9 instead of the muzzle being the sonic suppressor s you just take it off and put on the zemin 35 compensated for shorter radar pings vertical recoil horizontal recoil and firing aim stability at the cost of bullet velocity and aim down sight speed take off the pcs 90 assault grip and instead go over to the barrel and put on the thorn 90 bro for hip fire and attack stance spread aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed and sprint speed at the cost of aiming out sway and recoil control this thing in my opinion is absolutely amazing still it does get the job done very easily my only downside is you do lose some bullet velocity which i'm not really a huge fan of now if you think you can handle this regardless then be my guest and use it i think it's still really good it's just that i feel like with the silence build you get all the benefits of the Zemin 35 compensated, except you're not losing bullet velocity. This is something that you definitely have to weigh your options on, but here is the entire HRM 9 class if you guys want to try it out for yourselves. All right, so hear me out on the Ram 9. Now, this is not the regular Ram 9, but this build right here will make it so you don't lose any bullet velocity and it'll still kill incredibly quick with no recoil. So the first thing you want to put on is the FTAC Castle Comp. For horizontal recoil, gun kick control, and vertical recoil at the cost of aim down sight speed and aiming idle sway. Now this is way different than people typically go with. A lot of people like to go with the Zemin 35, and I don't really blame them. I also see people going with the Sonic Suppressor S, but this doesn't help with recoil control. So if you want to go with silence, then Sonic Suppressor S is for you, but you're not going to get that recoil control. If you want to use the Zemin 35, then you're going to get a lot of recoil control, but just check this out. You're losing 5% bullet velocity, and it doesn't seem that important until you realize just how significant a 5% drop really is for gunfights. Next, put on the DR6 hand stop for aim walking speed, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed at the cost of hip fire and attack, stand spread, and aim walking steadiness. Put on the 50 round mag. Now, you can use this or you can use the 40, completely up to you, whichever one you want to use. Just know that, I mean, the cons are, they're a little bit different. I mean, they are significant, but it's whatever one you want to use. If you want to 10 extra bullets at the cost of a 10 percent reduction of aim down sight speed instead of five percent to be my guest i mean it, on the handling it's basically double for each of them but for a sprint speed i mean it's two versus three i mean it's completely up to you whichever one you use retort 90 grip tape for firing aim stability gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of aiming idle sway and last but not least the hvs 3.4 pad for gun kick control aiming idle sway firing aim stability and recoil control at the cost of movement speed sprint speed aim walking speed and sprint to fire speed now with everything i listed you would think that this thing is not insane but look at this like this actually gets the job done really easily and you don't have to sacrifice any bullet velocity you're still basically getting the ADS at the same speed, except now it's a much stronger SMG. I still don't recommend long range just because I, I don't think that you're going to win it. I mean, you might be able to win it after you spray all your bullets like I did, but I recommend keeping it short to medium range and getting the job done with that. So here is the entire class setup for the Ram 9. Please use this because I think you guys are going to absolutely love it. Next is the Ram 7, and this is still their best assault rifle in the game right now. Throwing the Cassis brake for horizontal recoil and firing aim stability. You do lose some aim down sight speed, but that's not a big deal. Throwing the Cronin head with long... 
throwing the Cronin head when long barrel for bullet velocity and range, aiming out of sway and firing aim stability at the cost of hip fire and attack stand spread, aim walking speed and sprint to fire speed. None of these things that matter for an assault rifle. Ruin heavy support grip for gun kick control, aiming out of sway, horizontal recoil and firing aim stability at the cost of vertical recoil and aim down sight speed. 60 round drum is the best possible choice for this weapon. And last but not least, the HVS 3.4 pad for gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of sprint speed and sprint to fire speed. As you guys see, it just takes no effort to actually use this weapon. It's insanely broken and incredibly easy to use. So you guys have to have this in your arsenal. Please give it a try because you guys just see how effective it is at every single range. In fact, I would even argue to say that it's probably even effective at super close range as long as you hit all your shots. But here is the class setup right here. Make sure you guys take a picture, screenshot. Next is the Wasp 9. Now, I absolutely love this SMG and it is a fantastic hybrid that I highly recommend to anybody that tries it. Throw on the Zemin 35 compensated flash hider for the shorter radar pings, vertical recoil, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed and some bullet velocity. Now, the reason I'm not worried for the bullet velocity for this weapon is because it already has high bullet velocity, but I'm also going to take care of it anyway. But on the DR6 hand, stop for aim walking speed aim down sight speed spread to fire speed and movement speed at the cost of hip fire attack stand spread and aim walking stay in it put on the nine millimeter high grain rounds for bullet velocity and damage range at the cost of some recoil control now the reason i don't care about the recoil control is because this recoil pattern is very interesting. I feel like no matter what you really do with this, I mean, it's going to be pretty well controlled or pretty consistent overall. Put on the 40 round mag, unless you think you can handle the 50, it's just the cons are pretty high, pretty significant overall. I think that the 40 is more than enough. If you want to use 50, feel free. Last but not least, I chose a Niter model 2023. This is my personal preference. If you just want to use the iron sights, go ahead. I like using the optic. It feels easier for me. This weapon is absolutely amazing at short to medium range. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I would say it's amazing at long range as well, but the downside to long range is the recoil pattern for long range is kind of inconsistent. So that's why I'm kind of scared to say, like, feel free to use long range. I would recommend just keeping it short to medium range. And if you really have to use it long range, then make sure you have plenty of cover because you guys saw how many bullets it took me to actually get the kill. And I just don't want you guys to be in a bad situation. So here's the entire class setup. For the Wasp 9, please use this. I think you guys will do exceptionally well with it. The last weapon I have to show you guys is the SOA Subverter. It is so easy to use and one of my favorite weapons overall, especially if you don't want to use the Ram 7. Throw on the Cassis Break L for horizontal recoil and firing aim stability at the cost of aim down sight speed. Now, if you don't want to use this, I actually do have an alternative for you guys. We're going to go all the way to the front and we're going to put on the VT7 Spear Fire Suppressor L. This helps with being undetectable by the radar, regal control, bullet velocity, and damage range at the cost of aim down sight speed, aim walk and stay in distance, sprint to fire speed. Now, if you want to stay off the map, VT7 Spear Fire Suppressor. If you want low recoil, then you can use the Cassis. I still think that it has very low recoil, even with the VT7 Spare Fire Suppressor, so it's really just your preference. Put on the Dozer 90 Long Barrel for bullet velocity and range, firing aim stability, gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, aim walking standness, and aim down sight speed. Put on the Brune Heavy Support Grip for gun kick control, aiming out of sway, horizontal recoil and firing aim stability at the cost of vertical recoil and aim down sight speed. 50 round drum, I mean, this is just my personal preference. I don't really see any case where you would actually want to use a 30 round mag, but if you want to, be my guest. And last but not least, the Motion V2 Heavy Stock for gun control and recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. This weapon is ridiculously easy to use. It's absurd how easy this weapon is. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's probably one of the lowest recoil weapons in the game right now. So if you guys want a very easy weapon that'll get the job done, knock people off head glitches, handle them long range, this is definitely the go-to for you. And here's the entire class setup that I mentioned earlier. But if you guys also wanted to see the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor, like I said, the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor is actually pretty amazing. Keeps you off the radar, and as you guys see, super low recoil. So if you just wanted to, you know, stay off the map, then this is definitely the one for you. Like I said before, it's definitely your preference. So if you want the Cassis or the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor, whichever one of those you want, completely up to you. Go ahead and throw them on there. Next is the AMR9. In my opinion, this thing is absolutely deadly. It's great in short, medium, and long range. This is why I wanted to give you guys this build. They're on the Nimbus 6 integrated suppressor. This helps with being undetectable by the radar at bullet velocity and range. You do lose some sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed, which isn't a big deal, but I think you should definitely consider it. Next, put on the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop for sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed, vertical recoil, and gun kick control. Horizontal recoil reduction and hip fire and attack stand spread, which isn't a big deal when it comes to this weapon. 50 round mag. I don't recommend 100 round just because it's way too many unless you're using this as an AR. But if you're using this as an AR, then the build is going to be entirely different. There's a bunch of other things that you can actually try out, but Niter is actually one of my favorite picks. So this is what I'm going to pick. Wolfhound carbine stock for gun kick control, recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed. This thing is so easy to use. It's absolutely broken and it's even good at long range, which is actually ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. This has to be one of the best SMGs in the game just because of how versatile it is at every single range. 
So with that being said, please try this class at about. I think you will love the AMR9. I think it'll get the job done easier than a lot of weapons in your arsenal right now. The Broom Mark 9 is a staple for this season. This thing is so amazing and it reloads incredibly quick. So I have to show you guys the class. So on the VT7 Spearfire Suppressor for being undetectable by the radar, recoil control, bullet velocity, and damage range at the cost of aim down sight speed, aim walking steadiness, and sprint to fire speed. Put on the 23 inch XRK Horizon V2 for bullet velocity, gun kick control, and recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed, aim walking speed, and movement speed. Rune heavy support grip for gun kick control aiming out of sway horizontal recoil and firing aim stability. The cons are not even worth thinking about just because this is going to help so much. 60 round mag. Now this is the secret to make this thing absolutely meta. It helps with aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed, and reload quickness. And it is not a joke how fast this thing reloads. I can't wait to actually show you guys. Before I show you guys, I want to show you guys the jack glasses optic. This helps with the precision sight picture and the firing aim stability. And you may not think that's a big of a deal, but trust me, when you see this, you're going to be shocked. Now check this thing out. This thing is so easy to use. It has to be one of my favorite weapons in the game right now. It doesn't even move. Like, it literally doesn't even move. And the beautiful thing is, look how fast that reloaded. So I can just hop right back into battle. I have plenty of bullets to actually work with. It's a very heavy hitter. And I'll probably still have some bullets left over, just in case I need to take down one more target. This thing is so insanely good. So here is the entire class setup. I highly recommend putting this on and at least giving it a try one match. See if you like it. If you don't like it, then feel free not to use it anymore. But this is something you can use on Resurgence or Big Map. A lot of people are sleeping on this, but if you don't, trust me, this is going to be an absolute meta. The Sidewinder recently got buffed, and it is so good now. They're on the Tempest GH50 for gun kick control, vertical recoil, and horizontal recoil at the cost of aim down sight speed and aiming out of sway. But on the Tempest Predator Precision Barrel for bullet velocity, recoil control, gun kick control, and aiming out of sway at the cost of movement speed, hip fire attack, stance spread, aim walking speed, and sprint to fire speed. But on the Brune Heavy Support Grip for gun kick control, aiming out of sway, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability. The 30 round drum just because there's really no better choice. And the RB Borealis Grip for firing aim stability, gun kick control, and recoil control at cost of aiming out of sway. It's actually nuts how good this thing is. I actually have a gameplay with it where I dropped over a hundred kills in the video. So this is something you definitely should consider. This thing is so amazing at every single range. So if you haven't tried it out yet, after the buff, please try this out. This thing is absolutely amazing. Here's the entire class setup. And if you look on my channel, you'll actually see the gameplay. It is so insane. I know people still love the MTZ 556. So here is a very good class for you. I think that this will actually get the job done very easily. Throw on the VT7 Spearfire Suppressor for being undetectable by the radar. Recoil control, bullet velocity, and damage range. Next, put on the MTZ Drifter Heavy Long Barrel for bullet velocity and range. Aiming out of sway, recoil control, and gun kick control. Brune Heavy Support Grip for gun kick control. Aiming out of sway, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability. 50 round drum is the best possible possible choice and the coil eagles eye 2.5 times now there is an alternative where you can use the iron sight but i just really like using the eagles eye i just think that it does the job done like it gets the job done exceptionally well you guys see how fast everything just got melted like this thing is an insanely good weapon so to build this good you wouldn't really need an iron sight but here's the entire class right here. If you actually did want an iron sight, then I guess you could take the Choreo Eagle's Eye off and probably put something else on. I haven't really experimented with that, but it'd probably be the Close Quarters or the Marauder. The Marauder would probably give you more recoil control. So if you threw the Marauder on there, I guess this will be the build right here. And instead of the, I guess, Optic, you would have this build right here which is also pretty easy to work with. So so here's the entire build for the Iron Sight. I think you guys will absolutely love it. It is such an amazing weapon. All right, so this is one of the OG metas right here, the Polymiot 762. Throw on the VT7 Spearfire Suppressor L for being undetectable by the radar, recoil control, bullet velocity, and damage range at the cost of aim down sight, speed, aim walk, insaneness, and sprint to fire speed. Put on the Jack Annihilator Long Barrel for bullet velocity and range at the cost of sprint to fire speed and aiming out of sway. Brune Heavy Support Grip for gun kick control, aiming out of sway, horizontal recoil, and firing aim stability. Coro Eagle's Eye 2.5 times. And if you didn't know already, you guys need the aftermarket parks. So you need the Jack Annihilator Bullpup Kit. Helps mobility and handling, rate, rate of fire, hip fire attack, stand spread, and aim down sight speed. I know you guys see the cons, but just check this out. This thing is ridiculously broken. I remember when they nerfed it and people like were actually incredibly ashamed not being able to use it anymore. But this thing is once again meta. It's insanely good to use. And honestly, it gets the job done. Now, if you guys may notice that the Koyo Eagle's Eye sight is a little bit bugged, but I think that it actually works out better that way. You get way less visual recoil. So here is the entire build for the Polymiot 7.62. And here's the top 10. If you guys enjoyed this, let me know which one was your favorite class.